time at the zoo, also known as Five Dog Farm. Um, when we built the Coop de Ville, we knew we were going to be housing a lot of chickens. Um, we definitely want to have a small business selling eggs to local restaurants, and um, we all enjoy eggs very much. We love to bake, and I'm trying to supply for families on top of having uh, some sales on the side. A little bit of a homestead hustle, if you will. Um, so, Pinterest is a funny place. I tend to pin things and then never go back. But as I was watching another favorite uh, YouTube channel of mine, if you don't know Farmstead Smith, she's fantastic. You should check her out. She was talking about her poop deck, and it reminded me, I think I pinned something like that. So I went back and checked, and between Farmstead Smith and the pin I had, I decided this is the way we're going to go. We're going to build a poop deck. Did not want to have to keep cleaning the floors. It's a big area, and we're using forest flooring. Not that we would run out, we have three separate forests on the farm, but it is, it is, it's all work. You've got to go out there and drag bags of it back. So I wanted something that I could just make my job easier. And what's, what's easier than just, you know, scooping, having it come out, the sand just comes out the bottom, and then you pop it in your bucket for composting and take it to your composter. It really can't be easier than that. Um, it's keep in mind that when you or if you want to make this, you do not use play sand. Play sand has quartz in it, and quartz can get caught in its jagged, and it can get caught and build up in your chicken's throat, and then they could die. So do not use play sand at all. Don't don't do this if that's all you're going to use. I used all-purpose sand, which is fine. The best sand you could use, which I could not get my hands on, we're really rural and I couldn't find it here, but I am still looking for a source at some point. It's called construction sand or river bottom sand. That is something that I would like to use. It's, it's sort of different sizes. Um, still small, uh, but no quartz, just like the all-purpose sand does not have quartz either, so I'm comfortable using this. I've uh, been using it for a while now, which is why I've had to come in and, and give it a cleaning. And um, I'll tell you, it's so nice. The flooring in here is not disgusting. They tend to poop most when they're on their roosts, and it has really worked out well. The only thing that was a little difficult, I'll turn this here, is I had to build this this uh, poop chute. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. You know, you gotta laugh. Um, because we put this up against the wall, and the birds seem to love the top roost the best, and it would go and sort of catch between the wall and the poop deck, and that was just a gross buildup, so the, the poop shoot <laughs> helped. Some of it slides, some of it doesn't, but it's still so much easier to clean, so much nicer smelling in here, and I know that they're not walking around in a bunch of poo, because let's face it, we can't always get out and clean the poops once a week like we'd like to. It just doesn't work. In, in the fashion that we're doing farming, there's a lot going on for two people. One thing you want to be sure you do is have a watertight coop. We put in used tin, which meant there were holes where it had been screwed to something else beforehand. I came along and used some silicone caulking to take care of that, and I had to make sure, especially in the roof, we didn't have any leaks. What will happen is your sand will clump, and that takes away from the beauty of what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to allow you to just sift through it and get the poop out. If it's in clumps, you end up wasting more sand than you do saving yourself any time or money. So be sure that you have a watertight coop. So I just wanted to share with you what we did. I'll kind of, let me grab you here and see if I can show you um, how big it is. It's a big one, because we're planning on having quite a few birds. This is our, uh, this is our Bard Rock Golden Comet for now coop. I think I'm going back to um, Silver Lace Wyandots. They were our first birds and I really enjoyed their temperament and their pea comb. I'm not happy because a couple of our birds this winter got frostbite and that killed me. So I think because of that, I'm going back to the Lace Wyandots. Even though I've enjoyed the barred rocks and the roosters are awesome, um, I, I can't have birds suffering like that. So I'm, we're gonna do that and then I also want to get some Morans. I want dark eggs. So don't tell Mr. Blue Jeans, but I've actually come up with an annex to add to, to add to the coop. I hear you guys laughing. 
I want to kind of L off of this coupe because I want to put another breed. I really would like to get Araconas. So I'd put the Morans in here maybe and the Araconas or the Lace Wyandots. I'm not sure. But the, the second, it'd be two coupes. The second one would be for ducks. So if you guys have any suggestions, I'm considering Khaki Campbell's as, as one type. Um, I would also like um, Muscovy, is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. Uh, that's, it, that is, that's down the road. We will probably have pigs before we have ducks. And I can tell you we're getting no new livestock this year whatsoever. We still need to build the sheep shed for we have now doubled our flock with all three girls having had babies. We got two boys and two girls, and I'm pretty sure we're not going to be keeping the boys, but we got to get them big enough to find a home for them, somebody loving uh, to take the boys in. Anyway, back to the chickens. So here we are. There's the forest flooring that I was talking about. This coop still isn't done. I need to get uh, the, uh, the real uh, <laughs> nesting box as opposed to the milk carton, but they don't seem to care. Uh, and there is, if you haven't seen it, check out my video for the eggshell dispenser. They love it. Um, I did change it. I ended up putting metal tape on it instead of the way I did it in the video. This way I can undo it and, and take the bottle out. Makes it easier, but that's a simple change. And uh, I need to put their, their hanging feeder on. Right now we're using a, an old um, dog watering bowl because that's what we had. So there you have it. Our poop deck in one of our uh, new coops loving the system. I'll uh, check in intermittently and let you guys know if it's still going well, if we still like it or not. If you haven't already and you are watching Five Dog Farm and you like the channel, I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. All of your likes, all of your comments are truly, truly appreciated. So you guys go out and make it a great day. This is Nikki D from Five Dog Farm and I'll talk to you soon. And here we are, clean deck, full bucket, and ready for them to go again. <laughs>